Hello everyone. Uh, I would like to tackle directly the exercise since you asked me again about it. So we have a traverse. Uh, the elevation of the point A is known. Normally A is a benchmark. The elevation of the point A is 200 meters. And we would like to create a, a, diff a circuit using a differential leveling. So starting from A, we would like to calculate the elevation of the point B. From B, uh, we're going to calculate the elevation of the point C. So we will move our uh, level from here to uh, the position BC and from BC to CD to calculate the elevation of the uh, point D. And from D, we're going to come back to A to verify the cumulative error through this traverse. So if you look at this table, you have the different informations. Uh, you have the different back sides, uh, sides, the different four sides, the elevation of the point, point A, which is HA. HI is the elevation of the, is the height of the instrument, the side of the instrument, uh, between A and B, between BC, between CD, and uh, in the position uh, DA. So what I would like to do is to uh, to grab this figure, this table. I'm going to redraw this again uh, in Excel by adding another column here uh, concerning the cumulative error. And uh, let's try to, uh, to fill the table. So the first question is to calculate the elevations of the points and fill the table. So we, we would like to calculate the elevations here before any correction. And finally, we're going to do our corrections to, to fill this. So let's do it step by step. So the first step is to, to fill the table. Okay? Good. Now, this is my table. I tried to do better. So this is uh, the Excel sheet. Uh, this is the figure. And these are my questions. And I copied here the basic formula for a level so the hi hi the elevation of a of a or maybe i can enlarge this a little bit so if you have a, a level between two points a and b b and c c and d or t and a so uh, imagine a h a is known so a is taken as a backside and uh, we would like to calculate uh, calculate the elevation hb so we will we will write that hi the elevation of the site, uh, the elevation of the instrument to the data is equal to HA plus backside is equal to HB plus foresight. So this is what we wrote here. HA is HA plus backside is HB plus foresight. So this permit us to write that HB is equal to HA plus backside minus foresight. So, oh, sorry. Let's come back. Okay. Maybe like to resize this a little bit and start applying my formula so let's fill the table like this so it's very easy to do, to, to to fill the table maybe I can enlarge it a little bit more okay so as as we said hi is ha plus backside in the first situation when your instrument is between a and b a plays the role of backside, B plays the role of a foresight. So this is elevation HA. So HA plus backside permits to calculate HI. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to write that HA plus the backside A is equal to the elevation of the instrument. If I subtract from HI, from HI, if I subtract the foresight, I'm going to find HB. This is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to write here that the elevation of the point P is HI minus this. Okay? So if I, fi I find my uh, elevation HB, and I, I, ca I can, I'm able to move my instrument from here, my level from here to here. So since I know the elevation of the point B, I know that the eleva this elevation is not cor yet corrected, but uh, I can use it starting from B since uh, the elevation is known to calculate the elevation of the point C. Okay, I'm going to do the same. It's a, 
uh, as you see, it's a it's a, it's a recursive process. So I'm gonna say that this is HB. Uh, now I'm I'm reading a new backside on B, and I turn my instrument to read for side on C. I'm gonna write that. The elevation of the instrument in this case is equal to H, is equal to HB. Uh, since it is uh, B in this case is the backside plus the backside B as a backside. Well, this is the elevation of the instrument. If I would like to calculate the elevation of the point C, I'm going to write that this is equal to H I minus foresight. After this, well, maybe you can color this in blue. Okay, this kind of blue. So similarly, uh, I'm going to move my instrument from here to here between C and D. The elevation of the point C is known. I'm going to write that HI in this case is equal to HI plus backside. HI minus D as a foresight permits to calculate the elevation of the point D. And we do again. I'm going to write that this is value plus the backside is HI. And the HI between D and A minus foresight permits to calculate the elevation of the point A. Now, we filled our table. Let's go forward and look at the, uh, the, the next question. Oh, the next question is, calculate the misclosure. Maybe I can resize this a little bit. Calculate the misclosure error and fill, the, uh, and fill in the table the different corrections to be made. In reality, when we do a circuit, we should, if everything were was perfect if everything was perfect we should find 200 meters point three o's but unfortunately since we are uh, measuring using uh, real tools these tools are not perfect are uh, human made are not uh, cad made so there's always an error and to verify this error we need to do this kind of tour we need to do this kind of circuit so when we when we make a tour with uh, uh, the difference between the the, the 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 value of ha and the last measuring one after a tour is the cumulative error so e uh, the the misclosure uh, uh, e total or mis misclosure error is equal to a reality the this value uh, you can uh, it's up to you. You can start from here to. Here. I, I I prefer doing like uh, like in the book uh, in order to uh, to be inconsistent with the textbook. So this is uh, the true uh, the uh, the correct value, and this is the after circuit. So I'm gonna subtract them. The uh, the difference here is 0 0.199 uh, meters, uh, and we would like to. Uh, so since there's a, we need to, uh, there's a lack of 0 0.199 meters, we need to uh, uplift the points B, C, D, and the reading of point A, the last reading, to find again here 200 meters like this. So uh, the idea is to, uh, to do a bow uh, or compass method. So it's a it's it's a, it's a, 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 a proportional error calculation. In reality, let's 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 calculate the the sum of these lengths, okay, and weight by the uh, the different lengths. So first uh, first of all, I'm gonna write that this is the sum the uh, this is the sum of all lengths, sum of an i, okay. So 250 meters. This is the perimeter of the traverse. And I'm gonna add to the, uh, the, the the local correction between A and B is uh, equal to this length divided by 2050 cross e total. So it's a it's it's a weighted error in reality. Okay.
I'm, I'm, I'm just I just uh, added dollar okay dollar and here's um, uh, for the no here I don't need to do dollar okay but here for e16 I need to to do a double dollar okay uh, like this this is my error inside the calculations I can I don't need to uh, at this level of steps I don't need to uh, round I need to round at this level uh, I should be precise to the millimeters I'm gonna keep this like this or I can mask it but I know that uh, it is a 16 digit or a 16 digit yeah it's a double precision real number uh, so I can do the same for the other measurements uh, maybe I did a mistake uh, so, so it is this length uh, sorry uh, this length the, this, no where is the problem so here this here for example what is the problem ah. Yeah, we should. Uh, I should. I should keep this move moving. But uh, no, I think I I, I did a mistake. Uh, I, I we should here do like this. So it's uh, equal to. Again, I can remove it and do it again. So is equal to this length. Okay, F seven divided by this length, and this length should be maintained as it is cross this and this should be also maintained as it is yeah like this it's okay and right now i can do it like this remove the zeros the mirror so now for, for this for the first value we have the uh, the length l1 a b divided by the sum of the uh, of l i cross the uh, the mix closer error for between b and c you have the length bc 400 meters divided by 2050 cross by e total etc now this is the this is the the, the correction made uh, between every couple but this this error is cumulative so for the first value you should keep this and truncate to uh, three digits i'm gonna come back to this for the second one uh, maybe i can do it uh, maybe i can uh, i can write the cumulative value here in, in order to sum directly later on so this one uh, i can do it like this better like this or maybe uh, this okay for the second one it is a cumulative value it's this one plus this one okay for the third one c is uh, oh, the a b this is the correction of b this is the correction of c i need the correction of d here it is equal to the this value plus this value plus this value okay and for the last one it's equal to the sum of uh, it's equal to this value plus this value plus this value plus this value and finally you find 0 0.199 uh, so as you see here uh, I can I can show you the the certificate number so here, uh, here you have 0 0.10 0 0.107 0 0.107 okay uh, uh, sorry 0 0.107 okay here 0 0.165 it's okay so I can rewrite it 0 0.165 0 0.165 and for the last one, it's 0 0.199. So these are my corrections. These, these are the most important things I need to 
obtain at the end of my calculations. Now, finally, the corrected values as are equal to this value plus this value, okay? And same thing, this one is equal to this one plus the correction. For the point D, the corrected elevation is the, 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 the initially obtained one plus this value, and for A is equal to the initial one plus the correction, and you find 200. This is my correction for this exercise, and now the corrected value for B is this value, for C is this value, for D is this value, for A is this value. Like this, I I did a, 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 a redistribution of the cumulative error, and I adjusted my differential leveling. So uh, that's it. So uh, thank you for watching, and I I hope it's uh, now clear. Another last point is maybe sometime you can find here. Sometime you can uh, the cumulative error is positive. You can find the value. Uh, bigger than uh, 200 for example here when you do the difference you're gonna find the negative value here. imagine let's 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 play a little bit with it with, with this imagine we have 3.3 like this or maybe 3.200 uh, no I need a 3.1 Mm, and it's 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 always positive. But I, I I need to modify this a little bit. Let's let's do three meters now. Maybe maybe I can okay I can come back. Let me come back with this. Okay, uh, maybe here I can put four point. Zero zero or three point nine, three point eight. Okay, like this. Imagine you have a total error like this. It's the same logic. Okay, you have the same logic in your calculations, and in this case, this is negative. Okay, uh, you sum this value. Uh, you take this the first value like this for the second one. You should have a negative sign here. Yeah. You should have this value plus this value, it is negative, and for this one is equal to this value plus this value plus this value. It's a negative one, and for the last one is equal to this value plus this value plus this value plus this value. Okay, so now uh, it's the same logic in, in this case. We have only a, 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 a soft difference that. The cumulative error is negative, okay? That's it. Thank you and good luck.